Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the Samsung Notes application. So of course, you will need a Samsung uh, tablet or phone in order to use this application. It doesn't matter if that device comes with the S Pen or not, though keep in mind if I do mention the S Pen in parts of the video, if you don't have an S Pen, of course you can't use those functions. So with that being said, let's get right into it. When you first open up the application, you want to make sure the triple lines is selected. So you have all notes, shared notes, recycle bin and folder. So everything here is self-explanatory. But if you do want to have each subject, you know, in a folder, you just tap on manage folder here and you create a new folder. So let's let's do that together. Create folder. And we'll just do test. Spelt it wrong. You can choose the folder color. You tap on add. Tap into that folder. And you can see so you can create another folder. You can rename it, delete, and change the folder color. So let's go back. Let's tap on that folder. And you can see, let's say this is a subject. You can just tap on the create note here. You can also do that in the all notes area. You can see the create note here uh, option here is available. So let's tap on create note. And you can see it does give you a step by step instruction, but I don't need to follow that because I've used this app before. And let's get right into it. So right now it's going to bring you into the uh, uh, notes application. And so I don't know for sure if you're going to have, you can see here, I already have like these uh, these outlines here. I'm not 100% sure if you would also get those. And so what we need to do is we just tap on the triple lines here, page template, make sure if the default is set like this and you don't have any background, triple lines, page template, and you set this to, so you have a uh, lines. And guys, having lines just helps so that your text that you write is straight, or the notes even you write is straight. And then we'll tap on the triple lines, background color, and you can cha uh, change the color here. So that just changes the color of the background. I do recommend you have that at white. However, of course, you can do whatever you want. Now, these other stuff you can mess around with. Personally, I would recommend you don't. It's not really necessary. And so in order to take notes, you can see you do have the tool here. And we have the pen tool. You can change which brush uh, type you have. This is changes the size of the brush. So you see, large size. And if we reduce it, we have the small size here. So I personally wrote in a size 12, if you're wondering. And then if we tap on it again, you can see you can change the color that you're writing with as well. You tap on that and you can choose, you know, the exact hex values of the color if you would like. Now you also have the option for no matter how much pressure you put on the screen, you can see the stroke size is the same. And then you have a pressure sensitive one. So keep in mind, guys, this S Pen, if it focuses here, this S Pen, you can't like, you know, you know how when you have like a regular pencil and it's really large and if you go on the sides here, you know, everything's like really thick. And if you go like here, it's really thin. This is only pressure sensitive. So low pressure to high pressure. I don't know if you can really tell that much. Low pressure, high pressure. It's, it's it, I'm not doing it very well, but it does work at the end of the day. And then we have this tool right here. This is the highlights tool. So if you want to highlight your text, tap on it. And you can, so you can change the type of highlighter, the size. And this right here is the opacity. And you also have the color here as well. And we have the eraser tool, so this will erase stuff. Now you don't really, you never want to be tapping on the eraser tool. Instead, bring your uh, S Pen near to the tablet, and then you can hold down this button. See that button? You hold it down, and it will automatically bring up the eraser. You can see here, even though the brush is selected, boom, just like that, it's erasing. Now, if you bring it too far away, it may bring up the camera app. Let's see here. It actually, doesn't. So a note shelf, it does. I guess that's poor optimization. Oh, there we go. You can see it'll bring up the camera app. So when you're holding down this button, make sure you hold it down near the tablet. If you're too far away, the camera app does load up. Then we have the select tool. So you just select the text and you can see you have all these options here or you can just move this around like so. And then the brush types are the brush colors. These are just for a quick change. Of course, you can change them inside of here as well. And then you have the brush thickness here. So you can change that, of course, one, thin and if we tap on it 100 thick again guys you can change the thickness inside of here as well then you have the undo tool so undo stuff redo tool redo stuff and then you have the text feature here so if we tap on done what this does is you write out or top, you know how do you say handwrite the stuff so we'll just do hello and you can see it types it out as text you may want to use it you may not want to use it you do have all these options here you have to backspace all that good stuff i'm not going to use it and then you also have this tool right here. This essentially rotates your text. So we tap on it, you can see, it's hard to show. It's got like this. You can see 
the text is being rotated. I've never personally understood the use of this tool. However, it exists if you do want it. And then of course, you do have this right here. So if you have any text written out, so if we just write some text here, like so, and use this tool. Clearly my handwriting isn't good enough, but it'll recognize any text you have written out and convert it into, you know, keyboard text. And we have this tool right here. So this tool changes the current color of the text. So let's say I want, you know, blue like this. Just highlight the text you want to change. And you can see it does change the color. Now we will also change the size as well. So if I want to thicken my text, you can see it's a pretty darn cool feature. This, this, this is only stuff Samsung would offer. So then you have this tool right here. This is the magnifying tool. So this is used to make everything perfect. You can see uh, I have this magnified view and this is writing whatever is here. So I'm going to reduce the size of this. So let's go like 19. You can see you can use that to make everything perfect when you're writing. You may want to use this, you may not want to use this. Then you have the shape tool. So when you tap on it, when you draw a shape, it's going to make the shape look perfect. So let's say I draw a triangle. It didn't work. There you go. You see, it took a bit of time, but it actually draws out a proper triangle. Let's do a circle. And you can see it draws out a circle, all that good stuff. And then you have the lock tool. So you can see canvas is locked. So and that's self-explanatory. And you need to use two fingers to scroll. Of course, you can unselect that. And if you do use the uh, tool uh, for shapes, make sure you unselect that one as well when you are done. Then you have this tool right here. So this allows you to change the title uh, of your work. Then you have the attachments. You can uh, insert stuff, an image, uh, you know, camera picture, scan, PDF document, voice recording, all that good stuff. You can mess around with that. Then you have the triple lines. And you have the share tool here as well. So here's the deal, right? You can see uh, the page size is, you know, limited. So how do we change the page size? Well, all we need to do is we just need to keep on drawing. So if we just draw here, you can see it does give me extra page space. So I'm on the bottom here, one more time. And you can see it will increase the total page of the space. So you can't manually add pages, it's just an infinite scrolling, like so. And um, yeah, so let's just make a title for this. Let's do JJJ, go back, let's go back. You can see that is my work right here.